Let's talk about Apple TV. It's just between you and me. Hey everyone, welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and we are talking about new Apple TVs as well as existing Apple TVs. So whether you've got an Apple TV in your house right now or you're going to be picking up the new Apple TV 4K 2021 model, Apple introduced a new feature with tvOS 14.5 that introduces the way to balance the color on your television. With the forthcoming tvOS 14.5 update, Apple has added the ability for existing and new Apple TV units to balance their color on any TV set using nothing more than your iPhone. So what you need to do this, because we're gonna walk through it right now, right the second, you need an Apple TV, of course. Could be your existing Apple TV, could be the new Apple TV 4K 2021. And then you need an iPhone or an iPad that is running, at least with an iPhone, I did mine with an iPhone, but running iOS 14.5. 14.5 and tvOS 14.5 are currently in a release candidate, it's currently in RC mode version, whatever, with people, uh, and they will be released fully next week. You may be watching this and they already could be out, but if they're not out quite yet, they are in release candidate status and will be released very soon if you don't want to jump to the RC yourself. But that's all you need. Your Apple TV uh, and your iPhone, both up to date with 14.5, uh, that's what you need. Then on your Apple TV, you're gonna go into settings, then you're going to go down to TV or video and audio, then you're gonna scroll down again to where it says balance color. If you've done it before, it'll say balanced already, otherwise you can go ahead and do it. When you click on that, you're gonna get a screen that makes sure you have uh, an iOS device running 14.5, then you're going to take your iPhone and just bring it near your Apple TV. Once you bring it near your Apple TV, you're gonna see a little card pop up on the screen, just like if you were setting up your AirPods or AirTags or something like that. So a little card will appear on the bottom of your screen, then the TV is going to go into the special mode. There's gonna be a bright box there in the center. It's going to ask you to point your phone, point your phone at the Apple TV or at your TV and hold it an inch away from the display inside of that glowing box. So an inch away from the screen, facing the screen, we're using that front facing camera here uh, and just center it in that box. Once you do that, it's going to detect it and then it's going to start running through the calibration process. It's gonna flash a bunch of colors right around your iPhone. The camera is going to read them and analyze kind of how the display is tuned. Is it a little bit warmer? Is it a little bit cooler? Whatever it may be. So that's what it's watching for. Once you are done, it'll tell you that it's properly balanced your TV and will show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the unbalanced versus the balanced result. So here you can see my result. Uh, balanced versus unbalanced. And what I can see in mine on my Samsung Frame TV, it was a little bit cooler. So the balanced version made it a little bit warmer. It is absolutely noticeable. Uh, and depending on what you're looking, that warmer look makes sense. That is the proper look and color profile of uh, the video that is coming out of your Apple TV. So I have, am definitely going with the calibrated, the color balanced version of this, uh, but it's a very easy to do. So that's it, go into settings, go to video and audio, uh, color balance, hold your phone an inch from the display with your phone facing the screen. It's gonna run through the process and tell you that it's balanced. You're gonna get the best color balance possible regardless of what TV you happen to be using. So let me know what you guys think. Did you try this on your own TV? And do you prefer the color balanced version or the original? Let me know over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And if you wanna grab the new Apple TV or you want one of those fancy new Siri remotes, uh, go ahead and check the links down below in the description. We've got your hookup uh, once they become available.